Okay guys, I wanted to introduce you to the multi-site, and so you should have a link in your instructions, but if you don't, it's at uh, tropicalteachers.com, web 110, and then we're going to look under assignments and the JavaScript and PHP, and it's the multi-page site. So you go here, and there's a link to a folder, and that link has the two sites live as examples, and the two zip files. So here's the first zip file, here's the second zip file, and here's the live site. So I want to show you the live sites. First we'll go to the static, and you can see up here, it's at the domain tropicalteachers.com. Uh, in your case at CPCC, that would be students.cpc.edu forward slash your ID slash your course number. So web 120, web 110, web 115, whatever like that and then you should have a folder called super duper or something like that actually you, your company name um, and then super duper static or your company name static dot com that's how it's going to look this is how it looks to start and when you download it this is how it would look exactly and when you click on these they're just sort of dummy pages they have the same theme and layout um, the home page has a little bit of stuff I swipe from Wikipedia as well as a picture the validation page the tagline, so this would be in fitting with your theme once you change it. The subsequent pages are just dummy pages, just to show that you can have different content. Otherwise, you'll see the only thing that changes is the depth of the button, because the content, some of the content is longer and shorter. So the alpha page, for example, um, has two paragraphs. The Charlie page has two, but they're a little bit longer. So the validation button moves down just a little bit. However, the problem with this is we have to have one, two, three, four, five, six pages. And if I were to change the menu, for example, if I wanted Echo to say, you know, November, um, I would have to go change one, two, three, four, five, six pages menus to say November instead of Echo. And I would have to edit not only the link, but the way the link looks. And if I messed up any of them, suddenly my pages don't look consistent. So you're going to first create this on your web space, and then you're going to tweak it to have your branding. And you have to be very careful because if you muck it up too much, as I jump from page to page, I want nothing to move. So if anything moves, you've done something wrong, except the vertical positioning of this. You can change anything else you want, but I'm encouraging you, especially if you're just starting, not to get too fancy. If you want a left-hand menu, that's fine. Um, don't use my theme. This is green on gray. Um, use the theme that you designed in your branding. So I'm going to go back to the uh, the PHP version of this and I'll take you back to that original directory we had. And so instead of super duper static we're going to super duper PHP. The page should look exactly the same. The difference is that this main page is index.php and what it is doing is loading content from here down to here which is specified in a separate file and it goes and gets that file so we have one main page that loads one two three four five six separate files and I can show you how that works I'll click home and you can see down here at the bottom lower left where it shows where that link is leading but I'll click it and now you see up at the top it says question mark p equals home in HTML, in the web address, whenever you have something after the question mark, it's called a query string. The way to remember that is a query is a question. And the variables, you have whatever variable you created here, I created the variable p, and you set it equal to uh, whatever value you want. In this case, I want it to know to go get the home.php page. We'll switch to Charlie, and you see now it's going and get the charlie.php page. So why do all that? Well, the reason is all I have to worry about is changing the content of Charlie without changing the menu and the heading and the validation button and the tagline because I want those to be the same on every page. So those are all in the main index page. And I'll show you, I've downloaded those files and I can show you what they look like. Um, if I go into super duper static and then open one of those pages, like I'll just do a simple one, Delta, and I'll do it with Notepad++ you see that it's got everything, HTML, head, doc type, and so on and so forth, and all that stuff. So if you wanted to change the menu, you'd have to change it here, and here, and in all the other six files, right? Whereas if I go to the same one, 
if I go to the static one, I'm sorry, let me take the right page. If I go to the dynamic one, which is PHP, and I look at alpha, or let's look at Charlie again to be consistent, you'll see this is all that's in it. So compare that Charlie PHP to, we'll go back and uh, here's the delta HTML. So look how much more stuff the non-dynamic has over the dynamic. So the dynamic just has this. If we want to go edit the menu, we go to the main page, which in our case is the index. And I'll show you that. So I go to index, and that's the one that does all the work. That's the main container page that opens up those different files. So I'll edit that. And you see we, we're going to have this showing up on every page. So you want to change the menu, you change it in one place. So say you want to change Charlie to read products or our company, you simply modify it here and here, and then you actually change the page to call it whatever you want to call it. Whereas on the other one, you would have to modify every page. So all six of them, three modification times six, 18 changes that could go wrong. So then what we do is we have this little bit of code here. And I don't, this is not a PHP class. I'm not expecting you to learn a lot about this, but you need to learn this much or learn how to use it. What this is saying is, here is a variable called page or S page in PHP and set it equal to the variable you got from the query string. That's the thing up in the address. So go get the thing up in the address that's assigned to P, get it, put it into this variable, and now if that variable has a value, um, if it doesn't have a value, in other words it's blank, set it equal to home, so that means it'll automatically load home. Otherwise, just go get it. Right? And uh, here we are. That's all you need to do is include this, now, if you change anything down the line, like you want to go change delta to be uh, directions to us, you're going to need to also change it here. So instead of delta.php, it could become directions.php. And here, your menu item would change to say directions. Everything else just stays the same. And then you would go to your page itself, which is uh, here. You would change delta to be directions.php. And then everything should work. So play with this experiment, ask questions, um, but it's much more powerful doing it dynamically than doing it in a static way.